Buffalo police are investigating an officer involved shooting tonight. Authorities say the incident took place downtown with a man taking a swing at officers with a baseball bat. That man was then shot at the corner of Genesee and Ash. Police gave us an update on what happened this afternoon. The gentleman swung a baseball bat, striking a female Buffalo police officer. When he attempted to swing the bat a second time at her, that's when her partner did fire two rounds, striking the suspect one time in the abdomen. It was that incident that sent one man to ECMC after he was acting erratically with a baseball bat on the corner of Ellicott and Genesee at around 3 o'clock this afternoon. The suspect is in critical but stable condition. Both officers were also sent to ECMC as one of the officers had a small injury on their arm from the baseball bat. There is body cam footage that has been recovered from the officers at the scene that is currently being reviewed by our homicide unit. Multiple officers arrived on scene with one of them a crisis intervention officer. According to Buffalo Police Captain Jeff Ronaldo, the officer attempted to get the bat away from the man as they shadowed him for a few blocks. Attempting to de-escalate and speak to him, get him to put the bat down, and uh, unfortunately uh, that didn't work. Pepper spray was used in an attempt to subdue the suspect, but did not work. From a video of the incident posted on Facebook, you can hear two gunshots and a woman making reference to a suspect swinging a bat at officers, although it is not clear in the video. Part of our investigation will be determined what brought the officers there, how they handled it, attempts at de-escalation and what led to the eventual shooting of the suspect. So it's too early for me to make a call one way or another. The Buffalo Police Benevolent Association said they believed the officers followed correct protocol in discharging their weapons while hoping for better organization on calls like this. They said the, P the PBA is advocating a collaborative process to enhance training and refine protocols to properly address this public health and safety issue.